Hey guys, what's up? Zane here, and welcome to another loop video, this time 20 hours of Demonic Gorillas. Now, as usual, I did this one a bit differently. I decided to take the opportunity to test five separate weapons there. Basically, the Whip, the Magic Shortbow Imbued, the Rune Crossbow, the Blowpipe, and the Abyssal Bludgeon as well. So what I did was split up my trips into five hour segments. I did one segment with a Whip and a Blowpipe. I did one segment with a Whip and a Rune Crossbow. I did one segment with an Abyssal Bludgeon and a Blowpipe, and I did one segment with an Abyssal Bludgeon and a Magic Shore Bow Imbued. So as usual, there are far too many statistics to go over here, so what I'm going to do is just let them play out on the screen and you can pause them and read them whenever you want instead. And for those of you who are short on time, you can just go into my comment section and I will leave a comment there with timestamps to navigate the video quickly, so you can just click on the summary section instead. So that was just all of the most basic stats and loot that I got with just a few pictures of the price checks. Now we move on to the most complicated statistics which are basically a culmination of 20 hours of data gathering, averaged out to give you a rough idea of how much you can expect to make with each method etc. The one thing to note is I was incredibly unlucky in 780 kills in total, I didn't get a single Zenite Shard which has a 1 in 300 drop rate, so rather than just leave that out of the statistics, what I've done at the very end is create a hypothetical scenario of how much you could have expected to make if you'd done the same thing as me, but hit the average drop table, which was very fun to make. I enjoy mulling over the fact that I didn't get to make all that money, so if you need me I'll be drinking a bunch of vodka in my room while these statistics play. <laughs>
So that's all the statistics done. Um, so we move on now to the summary. Now, it was surprisingly close actually when you don't factor in Zenite shard drop rates, aka if you're me, because actually when you compare all the methods across an average, there's only about 30k GP per hour in normal drops between them all, which is due to the heavy supply costs of a blowpipe. But when you do factor in the drop rate of Zenite shards as an average, what you find is actually the blowpipe pulls ahead massively over the magic shortbow and the rune crossbow by somewhere in the region of 200 to 300. 100k, which was quite surprising in some ways because the blowpipe supply cost was so much larger over the course of five hours, but it's just the fact that it gets more kills more consistently that leads there to being a higher chance of there being a Zenite shard. So that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave me a like, comment and subscribe. More importantly though, if you have any suggestions for any future things you'd like me to cover, then feel free to leave me a comment down below and I'll do my best to cover it for you. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit burnt out doing PVM because of this, so I'm probably gonna do a skilling method next. I'm thinking of covering the blast furnace perhaps, but we'll see by next week, I suppose. So with all that said, I will see you next time. Bye guys.